Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Anderson Valley. This is their Blood Orange Goza. Uh, and for you guys that don't know what that style is, I'll give you a quick description here. It says here, an old German style beer from Leipzig. Uh, Goza is an unfiltered wheat beer. Made with 50 to 60% malted wheat, which creates a cloudy yellow color and provides a refreshing crispness and twang. A goza will have a low hop bitterness and a complementary dryness and spice from the use of ground coriander seeds and a sharpness from the addition of salt. Like Berlin, Berlin, Ber, Berliner wheat spears, a goza will sometimes be laced with various flavors and colored syrups. This is to balance out the addition of the lactic acid that is added to the bowl. Somewhat recently, Goza has, been a, has seen a mini revival with a handful of breweries bringing back the style in the Leipziger area and pubs like, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these German words, uh, Gozen, Chinky, uh, I just can't, just can't do it. Uh, just, some of those words just look like they just don't even, the letters shouldn't even go together. <laughs> don't have a lot of German in me, I don't guess. Uh, over to uh, the commercial description, our Blood Orange Goza is a tart, refreshing wheat ale that is kettle soured with lactobacillus and brewed with sea salt and coriander. However, unlike traditional versions of the stylus, our speech is liberal additions of blood oranges during fermentation. This imparts a tangy, citrusy note that, comp that complement the ch champagne-like flavors, creating a complex and sessionable ale perfect for any occasion. This is a fairly low ABV beer, guys. I mean, uh, very sessionable. 4.2% alcohol by volume. So you could have multiple uh, glasses of this stuff and not be too inebriated. Uh, 4.2 is probably one of the lower ABV beers that I've done. I may have, I may have done that 3.8% 3, 3 or something uh, before, but it doesn't ring any bells. So when you want to start getting down around the 4, 4.2, that is pretty low for, for a beer. So uh, just about have this for breakfast and, and not know you had a beer. Uh, this is their Highway 128 Session Series. So, and I've done uh, quite a few Anderson Valley beers, and they're usually fairly tasty, guys. Uh, I'm a big fan of their beers. They do, and now they're doing uh, their beers in, in the cans, too. Uh, and this one has a... says 15225. So if I was guessing on that, I would think this is the 152nd day, I mean uh, the 225th day of 2015. So I don't know what the 220, 225th day of uh, 2015 would have been, but it's been several months ago. So uh, i seen this, I said, well, and I've done a couple of goes of beers here. Uh, over the last couple of months, so I said, oh, I'll pick this up and, and give it a shot. And, and since it had that earlier date, uh, I said, well, we might as well go ahead and get this out of the way, being a, that low of AB beer and being the uh, 225th day, and we're here in 300. And this is the 7th of December, so uh, 
this one's been in, in the can for a couple of months, so it's time, it's, it's probably at the end of its shelf life, so let's give it a whirl. I, I like to try to expand my palate. Uh, uh, the first one of these style beers I had was back uh, in the summer, and uh, it's quite different than what your typical beer is with the sea salt and uh, um, uh, coriander that's put in there, so it's, it's probably a nice beer to have on the beach uh, if you, you're trying to have... Uh, multiple low ABV beers, very sessionable. So let's see what this one brings to the table. Let's go over to the food pairings. Uh, I don't have the IBUs on this beer, I don't think. No, it doesn't have it listed on either site. The uh, food pairings for this beer it says cuisine is German, of course, and uh, the meat is fish. Glassware of the stage, which is a slender cylinder type glass, is what you see here. Or you could, I could have used the wheezing glass, of the wheat beer glass. So. Uh, I chose it is. I don't use this glass that, that often, so we'll see uh, see how much head this thing pours. Usually when I use this glass, I usually get a massive head from this being long, tall, and skinny uh, glass. So uh, we'll see what this one brings. And it says not recommended for percent of salary. And of course, that's because it's a low ABV beer, 4.2%. So let's get the uh, top popped on this and get this one into the glass. I don't think it's going to be super carbonated, but we'll find out. But like I said, this glass usually blends to producing massive heads. Maybe it won't this time. Looks like I have a speck of something in here. Let's get that out of there. All right, uh, about two fingers of head on that pour. Over into the light, uh, it's a very uh, orangey color, uh, a light tangerine, if you will. A lot of bubbles streaming up. It looks like it's fairly well carbonated. Good looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Getting a little bit of the, the sea salt that they've used on here. A little bit of peppery spices from the coriander. And I am getting some citrusy notes from the blood oranges that they've used. So, about what the description says that they've used in this beer, that's about what I'm getting on the nose. And like I said, I don't expect a head to stick around, and it's going quickly. It's down to about a quarter finger of head there now. So, let's give it a taste. Cheers. The blood oranges are there, definitely getting that orange characteristics. Definitely getting a strong tartness to it. A little bit of saltiness on the back end there. Finishes up very dry because of that salt. And just a slight hint, but the coriander is not out overpowering or anything. It's just slightly there. The tartness and the oranges and the saltiness is uh, just standing out more than anything else. As you can see, the head is just maybe completely down. There is absolutely no head on it now. But I am getting the tartness, the saltiness, and the citrusiness of this beer. So, decent. Not my cup of tea, but something a little different. Uh, change it up just a little bit, guys. So, let me have, let her take a couple sips of it and uh, sip on it for a few minutes. This style of beer is, uh, to me, a lot like a lager. I, I would want to drink this fairly chilled and not let it warm up to room temperature too much. So uh, let me step on it for a little bit and come back and see where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on this about 20 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> very tart. Very citrusy, orangey in taste. A uh, little bit of saltiness going on there too. Not getting a whole lot of the wheat in this. Uh, it is very light, light drinking. Uh, no alcohol taste whatsoever, being a 4.2 percenter. <laughs> I let the other half have a sip of it, and you should have seen the face she made. I guess it was a little too tart, a little too tangy or something for her, but she made the face, and I'm going, hmm. Uh, 
It's a decent beer, guys. It, it is, especially if you like the salty, uh, uh, citrusy taste in your beer. And being at a 4.2 percenter, it's something that would be very easy drinking if you're into this style of beer. So let's do the final chug here. Tart, tangy, citrusy, a little bit of saltiness. Not getting a lot of the coriander, not very peppery. But that's about it, guys. Uh, very simple. Uh, very, uh, very beach-like, summer-like, if you will. Something that you'd like to drink uh, uh, sitting on the beach, maybe, uh, for a low ABV beer. Not something that I would probably drink on a regular basis, for sure. Not quite got enough taste and a little too tangy for me, so... But a decent beer overall. Uh, for me, guys, I would give this a 7, a B plus. Uh, if I was putting a numeric rating on this, it would probably be an 87 or an 88, something like that. Uh, it's got the ABV on here, and it's got the code, if you can understand the code on the bottom of it. It, it doesn't have uh, uh, canned on this date or enjoyed by this date. It's more like a Julian code or something like that. But decent, uh, like I said. Not something I would probably buy on a regular basis. Just seen it, wanted to try it, and uh, see where it was. So, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, Beer Advocate says this is uh, 88 in a very good range. Wouldn't argue with that. It's about where I would put it. And over to uh, Ray Beer. Ray Beer says 90 overall and 86 in the stop. So, uh, pretty close numbers uh, all around from, from everybody. Uh, decent beer. Uh, especially if uh, you're into this style. So uh, I haven't had a lot, maybe two or three in, in this style, but it was decent. The blood oranges definitely add a nice tangy citrusy taste to this to go along with the saltiness in there. Not getting a lot of coriander, like I said, so decent. Decent beer. If you've had this one from Anderson Valley, their blood orange goza, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Okay, come on back tomorrow. Let's see if we can find something with a, just a little more taste. I'll see you then.